actually see the glare here. Crazy glare. But what's going on? Let's see what we got going on. I was just on Instagram. Told all the Instagram peeps to catch me here. So let's see. Let's see what happens. I usually don't go on this early. I'm still gonna go on tonight. I'm just gonna do a little while I'm waiting here. I'm at a playground. No, I'm not a pervert, weird, weirdo creep. My daughter's playing here, so I'm just chilling. So if you hear the background noise, that's what's going on. Um, but talk to me, people. Talk to me, talk to me. I'm curious how many people will jump in because I never go on this early. But I want to start. I want to start doing the, uh, the, the trivia, not the trivia, the, the debate kings at this time. That's what I'm trying to do. But we'll see. We'll see. What we got? We got nothing? Damn. Crazy. Um, so we got this weekend. Who's fighting this weekend? Damn. So the Haney fight's two weeks away. Right? I'm probably going to be up in that piece live. I mean... Barclay Center is a 10 minute walk from my house. So I'm probably gonna be at the Haney fight. I'm waiting on these press passes. Cause the truth is, I don't think I'm gonna spend the money if I don't get the press passes because it's just expensive. Um, mad expensive. What's up Kalia, what's going on? It's just you and me right now. I don't know, I never go on this early. I'm just killing time while my, my daughter's playing at this park. So I'm seeing, um, what we got going on right now. But I just, I've been thinking about Canelo and Haney a little bit. Not Canelo and Haney, Canelo and Benavidez, excuse me. Army Mike, what's up, man? I saw you earlier, or I heard you earlier, I should say. You called in uh, Boxing Voice, right? That was you, I'm assuming, unless there's another Army Mike. What up, Sniper? Damn, sniper with a basketball player on it, right? Is that what that is? So that means you're a sniper like you hit. Yo, I can shoot, by the way. You know, the, the stereotype of the white boys is true. Can't really jump, but I can shoot. I mean, I can jump a little bit. I was able to dunk like a, like anything I could palm. So it was not bad, right? I wasn't flying out, out the gym with, with the hops, but that wasn't bad. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm thinking about Benavido and, Can and Canelo, and I feel like... I really, really don't think they're gonna fight. And it's starting to shape up to be like one of the worst evasive evasions. I hate saying duck because I feel like it's just disrespectful, but it's an evasion, it's an avoidance. I mean, he's avoiding Canelo and for some reason it's turning out to be one of the worst ones in history. And the reason is because you know, some people say, well, well, Aaron Pryor never, never fought, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard never fought Aaron Pryor, right? None of the guys fought Aaron Pryor, Hearns. And I'm like, okay, that's true. They probably did avoid Aaron Pryor, but don't forget, Sugar Ray Leonard had Hagler, Hearns, Duran. He had all these other fighters. So when you don't fight a Pryor, but then you go and fight Hearns and Duran and Hagler, you can't really say anything about that. You know what I'm saying? But who does Canelo have to fight instead of Benavidez when you have such an enticing fight? Munguia? No disrespect to Munguia, but come on. War ducks, yeah, a lot of people. Well, yeah, but you know what? Stevenson also ducked um, Kovalev. So, remember that? We're talking about Adonis Stevenson, people. He ducked Kovalev. So, you know, Kovalev was, was that guy for a while. That was, there was, that was that time in the 2010s, right? For a few years where Kovalev and Triple G, those two Russians were just running boxing. Well, tri Triple G's from Kazakhstan, but you know what I'm saying. They were just running, like those were the most, those were the scariest dudes in boxing, the biggest knockout punchers. And there was a good period of like, I wanna say five years where those were the top guys right there. Um, and I think that Kovalev won the first fight against Ward. I think Ward lost that first fight. He should have. Second fight, different story. Just like I think Triple G beat Canelo in the first fight. But 
the next two, I think Canelo beat him. Um, and that's what made Roy Jones so great. In Roy's prime, Roy never even came close to losing anybody. Montel Griffin, but that's different because while the scorecards were close or Montel might have been ahead at the time of the stoppage, Roy was coming on and dropped him. And, you know, it's not a fight that, that went from start to end that you could look at and say, well, this person really should have lost. So Roy never even came close to losing, you know what I'm saying, in his entire run. So that's what sets him apart, and nobody could come close to Roy back in those days. You guys know what I'm saying? Talk to me, people. What we got? We only got two thumbs up, which I'm not, I'm not happy about. Let's just jump that up. Por favor. Um, this is my first time going live this early. What's up, brain food? I like seeing all my usual suspects coming in at this, this early one. I'm just, just killing some time here. My daughter's at the park playing. Hi, baby. So, um, Ward said... Ward said he waited for Nello to call him out for Kovalev and then would come out of retirement. Um, yeah, I don't know. Boots to match room? What do you mean, lead? Boots to match room. Boots is going to match room? Did that happen or are you saying you want that to happen? I'm confused. Yo, I'm going to start my, um, my uh, Boxing Debate Kings series maybe, maybe tomorrow. I think that'll be fun. We're gonna have head-to-head, uh, head-to-head -head championships. People going, on, people going at each other and debating. Respectful, debating. What's up, Maja? I know you probably already covered it, but what's your pick for Bivol Better Biev? I got Better Biev by stoppage because Better Biev has stopped everybody he's ever fought. So how can you, how can you vote against that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he signed a word. Okay. See, I don't really follow this stuff, though. What's that really mean? Does that mean he has more in-house fighters that now he could maybe match up against? Is that what that means? Is that why that's good? David is chasing a payday. Canelo is not obligated to fight him. What? Oh, man. Sniper. Come on. Come on. He's not chasing a payday. Okay. He is chasing a payday, of course. But he's chasing legacy. Who wouldn't want to be the best pound pound fighter in the world? Maybe now it's arguable if Canelo is, but he was for a long time. And definitely by far the best in his weight class. Why wouldn't you want to fight the best in his own weight class? And the best in the world, arguably. And arguably the biggest payday in the world. That's just a legacy fight. It's not just money. Somebody fighting Ryan, like what Haney's doing, that's just money. I'm not, no slight on Haney, I don't blame him. But that's just money, because Haney, because Ryan doesn't offer anything past money. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, he beat Ryan, he got skills. Connor Ben versus Boots. Boots destroys him. Like, beats the shit out of him. Beats him down. Like, bad. Yeah, Connor Ben does not want to fight Boots. Like, I'm not saying he doesn't want to. I'm saying he doesn't want to, like, don't fight Boots. Because things will end up very badly. Yeah, Connor's talking about fighting Pacquiao. I mean, Pacquiao is older, smaller. That, that's a great fight for Conor Ben in terms of getting experience and building legacy. Because no matter what, even if he beats an old Pacquiao, people are going to be like, well, he beat Pacquiao. Davis should fight Morel. Why? Morel has like 10 fights. Benavides is a, is a, is a multi-world multi champion. And he's had, uh, what, 30 fights? David got three killers willing to fight him for legacy. Uh, Bivol, Better BF, Morel. The Bivol and Better BF fight I get because it's moving up in a weight class going for a title. Morel is just, why? You know what I'm saying? Morel is not at the, at the same level. You know what I mean? Uh, Morel is still, guys, please hit the thumbs up by the way when we got four in here. And there is, there's been up to 20 people in here. So please hit the thumbs up. People calling people out doesn't mean much. Everybody calls people out. You got Kid Austin calling out Shakur. That doesn't mean that Shakur should fight him. You know, no disrespect to Kid Austin. He's a great fighter, but he's just started. He needs to get, you know, he needs to get some more wins under his belt. What up, Alex? My club is in Brooklyn, right by the Barclays Center. 
Oh, that's where that is. Damn, the inflation's killing me. Killing me. Like, that's why I'm, I'm I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather be on here getting paid from this, you know, with you guys. Jason Statham, is that you? That's cute. I've heard that one before. Not an insult, I don't think. Kind of a compliment. Who's the greatest boxer that never won an undisputed title? Sam Langford. Undisputed or just a title? Because Sam Langford never won a title at all. Um, why, Alex? Are you located in the New York area? Why are you asking? Um, the greatest, I mean, David Tua is one of the guys who never won a world title, who was an amazing fighter. Andre Ward never won Undisputed. So you're asking, okay, you're asking who's the greatest never won Undisputed. Well, Undisputed, uh, Undisputed is, yeah, a lot of great fighters didn't win Undisputed. That's hard to pick. Are you from Harlem? Yeah, mine's in Brooklyn. It's called Eastville Comedy Club. David should be, why David should be, what are you being about? I don't know. What the hell you just wrote, Army Mike? You must have did a voice chat, right? And then it didn't stop? Because it sounds like you just had a stroke. You feel me? What's up, Juan? You think Canelo ducking better? Of course. Of course, Juan. Of course. Don't you? It's probably the most classic, classic hardcore example of ducking that we've seen in a very long time, maybe ever. Because there's nobody else that comes close to Benavides' level, excitement, nobody. Yeah, the voice chat killed you. Canelo versus Benavides might not happen unless Saudis fund it. I don't, let me tell you something. I don't think Canelo wants it to happen. Manny ducked Bud. Pacquiao? What? Bud was lighter than him at the time. Five top Mexican fighters. That's a good one. Um, Chavez. Uh, Salvador Sanchez. Chavez. Uh, Barrera. Morales. Um, who am I missing? Us Tank fans are sad for Devin. He will never be a, he will never be a side in the fight. Not yet. Not yet. What's up, Latoya? Us Tank fans are sad for Devin. He will never be. Yeah, well, nobody's gonna be an A side when it comes to Tank. That's what that's Tank's the, the draw. He's a more exciting fighter, and he's the bigger draw, and that's just what it is. Samson said it would be possible without Saudi. Yeah, that's what Samson said, but Canelo doesn't want to do it. Canelo literally just doesn't want to do it. You know what I mean? Devin Duck Shakur. I mean, there's no proof of that, is there? Keith Duck to EJ. Who cares? Who cares? He wasn't the A-side with Ryan? Tank wasn't? I don't know. Maybe, but... The majority of Ryan's fans weren't real boxing fans, so. But they still paid, right? What do you think the outcome of David versus Canelo? Duck, I think better I think Benavidez wins a unanimous decision or might even stop him. Not knock Canelo out because Canelo's chin's too good and is well, but to the point where the, the ref is like, that's enough. Like he'll be all lumped up. Um, but I think he'll probably unanimous decision. Hi Mark, love your sparring analysis videos. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. I'm gonna drop another one. You guys have any suggestions of what you who you want me to do? Let me know. Appreciate you. Hopefully, I, I you know, I, 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 I uh, educate, teach, you know, show. I don't want to sound arrogant, but let me put it a different. Show people stuff at aspects and perspectives that they, that they never thought of before when I do them. That's what I'm trying to do. Top Filipino fighters: Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, not Manny Pacquiao, Nonito Donaire. I can't really think of any others off the top. If Nello gives the number, Samson says it's good. Yeah, well, Devin Tank will never be the visa. What's up, Jonathan? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. 
we don't know if that fight's going to happen, uh, Canelo and, and, and Benavidez. It's not looking likely. I just don't think Canelo, Canelo has to be on board f to make it happen, and he's not. Keep them going. I stream them with my friends. He loves them as well. Are they any GG sparring? Nope. You want me to do Triple G? That's a good one, actually. I guess here's a problem. Uh, what's your name? Uthman. The problem is a lot of my viewers, well, not a lot, a lot of viewers in general, subscribers, they don't care about stuff that's not current. So if I do classic legends, anybody retired, they don't care. Now, Triple G is just newly retired, so they, they might care, but I don't know. But I'll, I, Triple G is a good one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a Triple G versus, versus, I don't know who, Charlo maybe or something. With toy, I paid 1500 for nosebleed seats. I was a tank and rolly too. I would have never paid that for a Devon fight. But yeah, but you're a tank fan, right? And also tank's just exciting. You know, when you know you're gonna get a knockout or you can get a knockout in any second. Hey baby, um, my daughter, uh, you know, people pay. Since when does the opponent fight the champion whenever he wants? I hear you. Why don't you go on non-Devon? Oops, somebody just deleted what she said. I don't know what she said, but I don't think it was nice. Tank has real skills. Let me see what she said. Why don't you go into non-Devon? Are you talking about, okay, I saw what she said. You're talking about the boxing voice? Or who are you talking about? Yeah, actually, I go on Drew Titan too. A, a couple of them are, De are Devon fans. Look, I get it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not biased when I go on personally, but like when you have a relationship with somebody, like they're cool. Like I'm cool with Bill Haney now, you know what I mean? Okay. I still can manage to separate my boxing analysis with my friendships, but sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes it's hard for people to, now I'm not, but I'm not gonna let, and some people do this, some people don't. Um, I don't let my personal relationships with fighters uh, mar or, or dictate like my actual opinion on their fighting. You know, there's ways to say things. If I think Devin will lose a tank, which I do think Devin would lose a tank, although I do think it's very, very close. It's the way you say it. You know, it's not like, oh, he's so-and-so's garbage. No, it's just like, no, oh, I think it's a close fight. I think Tank will beat anybody at 140, but I do I do acknowledge that Shakur, Tank, and Tio all have the tools to possibly beat Tank. If I had to bet right now, I'd bet on Tank on top of everybody, but I think it's razor thin because we've never seen any of them fight each other, so we don't really have much sample size to go by. I see fans talk more about today. I see fans talk more about today's fighters and fighting each other, yeah. Who wins, Arthur or Bivol? Uh, better be if beats him, probably stops him. Tank is mad exciting. Devin will never be exciting or has skills. I, I disagree he doesn't have skills, he has skills. He has a lot of skills. He's, and he got a little more exciting in his last fight with Regis. You can't front. He was coming in, he was mixing it up a little more, dropped him. You know, Devin, Devin can be exciting because he has those bursts of really fast punches that are real flashy. But yeah, he's not as exciting as, as Tank um, or, a lot, or some other fighters. But very few people are as exciting as Tank, so. I don't think you do. Most Devin fans never break down how skilled Tank is. It's more than a puncher. I know. You don't think I do what? I know he's more than a puncher. I've, I've actually broke that down. Uh, that tank's a very skilled counter puncher and, and a high ring IQ. I actually just put out a video. Did you see it, Latoya? Of uh, tank versus Inoue. I just put out a sparring breakdown of tank versus Inoue and I break down tank's skills of his counter punching and his, his IQ. It's cool, Marco. I understand, but these Devon fans are so biased. Yeah, well, you know, that's the way it is. Maybe you can do some short in intro into boxing videos from choosing the right mouthpiece to break in. You think people care about that stuff? I could do that, I guess, but that's something like anybody who's really boxing just goes to a gym, goes with a coach, and they learn all that. But yeah, maybe I could do that. Benavidez versus Canelo is happening? No. We're just talking about it, though, Mexican. I thing is, I like Devin. It's just his dad makes it hard. Yeah, I get it. I mean, his dad's promoting. You know, he's trying to promote and make the most money for his son possible. He's a, he's a very smart, good promoter, Bill. What's my favorite fight? Uh, 
Um, Castillo versus Corrales won. This is the best fight I've ever seen. What's up, Jeff? What's up? What's going on? The hate online is real? Yeah, it is. That's true. Ah, Yeah, it is, man. The hate online is crazy. It's too much of this in boxing, man. We, we should just watch boxing, and we should enjoy the fights, and enjoy, like, you know, see what the fighters do, enjoy it. Don't get into the stuff outside the ring. All this, who ducks who, and who's contract negotiations, and who hates who, it's all, it's not boxing. This is like soap opera. If you want to get into that, turn on a soap opera. Turn on Telemundo, telenovelas. Like, there's a lot of, uh, turn on Mori or whatever. There's a lot of avenues where you can get drama if you need it. But boxing, in my opinion, should just be boxing. Now look, but Benavidez being ducked by Canelo, that's something that's so blatant. Yeah, you talk about things like that, but don't harp on it. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn on deck, word up. It's like they paid to spread hate. I know. Well, a lot of people tie their own life into fighters. And eventually, the more you follow a fighter, a lot of people forget that, subconsciously forget that, that the fighters are not them and tied into their life. And they start feeling like, if so-and-so loses, that's like, I took an L. And that's like, that's almost bringing down me and what I stand for. You know what I'm saying? Like. Fighters do stand for some, certain fighters like Ali stood for a whole movement and, you know, fighters can stand for stuff, but overall, you know, us as fans, our personal lives are not tied to boxers. You know what I'm saying? They have nothing to do with us. Who do you have? Why'd you say, whoa, Army Mike? Who do you feel lighter weights are more interesting than heavyweights? Do you feel the lighter weights are more interesting than heavyweights? Nah. It depends on who's fighting when. You know, there, there was a point in the heavyweight division when the heavyweights were all mad exciting. There's a point where they're boring. You know what I'm saying? I do think Shakur is quite boring. Yeah, I agree. I find Shakur boring. I used to find Devin boring. You know, he's stepped it up recently. But, you know, there's a lot of... I, I thought Bernard Hopkins and, and Ward were both boring. Unbelievably talented fighters, all-time greats. But they kind of bored me a little bit. I won't front. Bill paid out of YouTuber to hate on Tank. Is that a fact? Bill got personal even with Tank coaches. Tank coaches never go on different channels talking about Bill. Um, I don't know if you're, I, if you're right with that. I believe you, I, I don't pay attention to that stuff. I have talked to both Tank's coaches before. I've interviewed both of them and I've interviewed Bill. Bill is definitely way more of a, of a marketing, of a performer, you know what I'm saying? Like Bill, but he's smart because you guys have to understand you have one chance in boxing to make a lot of money because when you're done, you get no pension, you get no health insurance, you get nothing, right? And you even get forgotten after a while because boxing is very, you know, uh, whoever's hot now is hot now and the rest are forgot now. So Bill, and, and you, you take one loss in boxing, one loss, and you could literally, your career and your earning potential could be thrown our way just like that. So Bill's trying to maximize and optimize the current time while the strike while the iron's hot. So, you know, I don't blame him. I'm not saying I would do it myself that way, but I don't blame him. And he's really good at it. Because look, now we're talking about him. Paulie started the Canelo hate. Paulie Malinaji. In case anyone was wondering, like simply tap the three dots, hold your screen. Yes, thank you, Alex. It's facts, okay? Best comeback you've ever seen. Maybe Kelly versus Gaynor. Uh, Kelly Pavlik versus, versus uh, Jermaine, Jermaine Taylor was a great comeback. Uh, Castillo, uh, Corrales versus Castillo. Bill and Devin's father-son team, yep. That's not marketing, that's hate. If it is so confident that his son has skills, make the biggest fights, that's why he can't. Because Latoya, boxing is, is a broken, broken sport. And like I said, if you don't do outlandish things, on top of having skills, there's only a few fighters, Tank is one of them, Mike Tyson, that don't need to talk much. Their skills do the talking for them. There's only a few. That's rare. So you have to do outlandish things in boxing, unfortunately, because you don't get signed. It's not like the NBA where they'll sign you on a contract and you're good. You've got to keep grinding until the day you retire. And that's just the way he chooses to do it. You know? And I don't, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really hear all the stuff Bill says, but... Um, 
I know that he's a very, I know a lot of it's, you know, promotion. Paulie hates Nello, does he? Okay. What up, head huncho? Bill is underrated as a businessman. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But how are you going to get mad when fans start to pick a side? Okay. No, it does cause divide, Latoya, you're right. Saying, saying things that are putting down certain people causes divide. I agree with you. But as boxing fans, we need to understand that, you know, we need to not make things about our own lives. Because unless you're related to, like, Tank, or unless you're invested in him, where he's a publicly traded company and you're making money because you're a shareholder, it's just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You know, I get if he stands, like, like if you would have been, you know, around in the 60s and Ali was doing a lot for, the, for, like, the black movement and all that. You know, I get that. Certain fighters stand for more, but no fighters today stand for something as big as, like, Ali did. You know what I'm saying? So in, in that situation, I get it. What do you think of David petition for 175 says 68 strip and Canelo? Um, because he knows that he he knows that what happens if he strips Canelo and gets the belt not fighting? What's that do for his legacy? Nothing. He already had a 68 belt. What's that do for his legacy if he goes up to 75 and beats one of those true champions in the ring? What's that do for his legacy? Skyrockets it up. How is Bill underrated? His son can't sell out. How many fights? Uh, I had a bunch of amateur fights. I only I had three pro fights, but only one official pro fight. The other two were smokers. Um, and I had like I had about I don't remember 15 amateur or something like that. I was thinking I was 13 and two. Sorry if you answered this question already, but how does Haney Garcia Garcia gets outboxed? Haney boxes his socks off, unanimous. I don't see anybody getting knocked out. Ryan has it in him to maybe drop Haney. It is possible with, with a quick ship, but Haney, will, if, if that happens, Haney will get up and be fine. But I don't even think that's going to happen. I think uh, Haney just wins unanimous. I think there's, you know, that whole cliche, there's levels. Well, yeah, take the elevator because there's levels in this. How much difference does going from 75 to 68 make a difference? Nothing. Let me tell you something. Don't, the first weight division... You can jump two weight divisions in every single weight division in boxing with no problem until you get to 75. 75 to cruiser, 75 to 90, 99, that's, that's different, all right? And cruiser to heavy, that, nothing, nothing under 10 to 15 pounds minimum makes a difference. I've been in the ring tons of times. You don't feel it. You don't feel it from dudes unless they're at least 10 pounds heavier, more like 50, 10 pounds if you're lighter. I'm, I fought at middle, super middle, 168. For me, if somebody wasn't 15, 20 pounds heavier, I didn't feel it. You know, 15, I felt it going up. So these, these seven pound, these five pound weight classes make no difference at all. You know what I'm saying? The losses in boxing is bad, but not a death sentence. Yep, exactly. A loss in boxing is bad, okay. So that Devin last, so flop. Ryan winning by left hook, KO to the bodies. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I know he did that once, but. I don't see that happening. Packy said he would fight Davis. If, yeah, I know. I saw that. Haney has that chin on him. Does he have a good chin? He's never. He hasn't really been hit that much. I know Linares wobbled him a little bit, but other than that, when has he really been hit? Loma hit him a bunch of times, actually, but Loma didn't look like he was punching hard. And Loma was way smaller than Tank, I feel like. I got Ryan for the upset. I know you do. You hate Haney. So that makes sense. <laughs> see, you sh Latoya, you shouldn't do that. See, you're a part of the problem. Like... You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but you are. You're part of the problem when you're rooting against Haney just because you think that Haney fans hate Tank and you like Tank. So you're making it into like a drama where it doesn't, don't get involved in that. Just enjoy watching Tank fight because that's what you do, right? Don't let people, not every Haney fan hates Tank, by the way. Not even close. Some do, but not. Getting caught up in that, I feel like just spins off negative energy and it takes takes folks off boxing and that's what we need to do is just appreciate the fight man if you sat there and just appreciated tank it's so much more fun because that kick that, that you know he can fight such a great fighter but i want the fight to do well so they can get tank payday all right enjoying loving this era guys be happy to watch it yep i like haney and tank yes they do all the time to think well some maybe do but you know like i said man don't get involved what's up jackie 
What's cracking? What's crack a lacking? Jackie Hernandez wrenched up. What's up? Let me see. Um, all right. Got some new people. Guys, did everybody hit the thumbs up in here? Hey, guys. Did everybody hit the, uh, the thumbs up in here? We're only at 12. So I would enjoy it if we could pop this up to 12 because we're only at, pop it past 12, I mean. Bro, like Devin, it's his pops. Yeah, well, you know, this is why your channel is cool. The other channels promote the division instead of the promoters. That's what I'm saying. But people like that. That's the problem. So many people like 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 that kind of talk. LDBC started all this boxing. It. Man, I don't want to talk about that because I'm mad cool with a lot of LDBC people, and you know I don't want to talk bad about them. Um, they've always been good with me. You know, LDBC, you know, I know they have their own views. The thing with them is, though, they mind their business. And if, once you attack them, they're vicious. Like, they're way more, people think that they're more aggressive, but they're way more reactive. And I don't blame them. They're defending themselves. But i am always been cool with all the LDBC. You know, shout to them. I've always had a great relationship with them. They've always been mad supportive to me. So I got no problems with them at all. Matter of fact, I like a, a lot of them. I like him a lot. Uh, uh, Inuit versus Davis. Nah, I don't think so. I wish it would be, but Inuit's too small. Tank would take it, though, for a big payday. You, you know, do, do fight in Japan so we can get a huge payday. Woo. Woo but guess what? Look, the spreading the hate, it only spreads if you give him a piece of bread to spread it on. If you just take away the bread, turn your back, and ignore it, you can't go anywhere. Those of you young enough, do you remember the watching uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one at the end? They found out that the key to killing Freddy was don't scare, don't give him fear. Don't pay him any attention. And including attention, that means paying him fear. And the second you didn't pay him attention, he had nowhere to go and he died. Same, same shit with, with all this hate and all that stuff. You're an honorary brother, that's why. Who, me? Thank you, I guess. Woman, that's never gonna happen. How, when has Tank said anything bad about Devin? GT over all of them, Marco, and you too, bro. GT over all of them, Marco, and you too, bro. I don't know what that meant, but okay. Um, what else we got? I'm about to bounce up, out of here in a second. Uh, it's hot, man. It's like 60-something degrees in, in NYC today. In BK. But I want to do a Debate King. See, so here's something we could have done in Debate Kings. Like Latoya could have came on and she could have uh, squared off against somebody here who is a, is a Haney fan. But the problem with that is I don't want to do it if it's going to get like disrespectful and these things get disrespectful very quickly. So maybe those kind of topics I won't do because people get too heated. But when you talk about more things like, you know, who would have won Ali or Tyson, those kind of things can tend to be may, may, way more respectful when they're debated. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get, you don't want to do things that are personal to people because then the, the emotions bubble quickly. Hate division, LDC dude wearing each other. At work, sneaking, listen, what's up, Joe? I just like fighters who suck at the best and don't fight the best. Everything else is static noise. All right. Triple G, his chin, his power, his relentlessness, and his punch placement. Triple G had amazing punch placements. Defense wasn't all that, but his punch placement, which means he knew when to punch and where to punch and how to punch. That's what made him amazing, uh, mixed with his unbelievable power, his, his crazy grit, and of course that legendary chin. One of the best middleweights of all time, arguably the best in his prime. Canelo beating him didn't really help that, that case though, but he was older when Canelo beat him. And I thought he beat Canelo the first time. Uh, so that's what made, made it so good. What else we got guys? Talk to me before I jump out. Only got 14 likes. You guys, that's disrespectful. Give me some more than 14 likes. Come on. Give me more. Let me see 15 come in. Somebody hit a like. Let me see. Three, two, one, zero. Nothing. Damn. You guys, play me out. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Uthman. Uthman? Is it Uthman or Uthman? It's probably Uthman. 
There's a TH. I'm gonna move Judah's bike out from the middle of this. Bike. Um, okay. 13. All right, there we go. We got one. Beautiful. Well, not one. I'll, I'll take it. Better than nothing. I'm about to go in a little bit, so if there's no other topics, we can we can reconvene tonight at around nine or ten. But let, let's get a couple last topics in. We're doing freestyle right now. You guys would be interested in the debate king, though. If I started doing the debate king segment, where we get two people up on video, or you could just do audio if you want, whatever, and we debate a topic. What you guys think? You got you got three minute rounds. We do two or three rounds of it, and at the end, all the audience votes for the winner. How's that sound? You guys think that would work? I had enough cash. Yeah, it was bad. All right. Appreciate you, Ruffman. Appreciate you. What are some matchups that you want to see in the future? Predavinez Canelo. When will Boxing Cards return to NYC? The, uh, the 20th, there's one. Oh, the small cards? The, the inflation's killing everybody now, my man. It's really rough. You said you're in Queens, right, Alex? Yeah, it's really rough right now because the inflation. So I don't know what promoters even want to take a gamble on putting together a small card because you don't make much money off that. And the TV networks aren't interested. Like, you, you, the, the biggest money for almost all of any sport is the TV money. Or now the streaming money. 18 viewers, 18 likes. Okay. But, um, way before inflation, yeah, but worse now. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here. Uh, I will catch you guys, um, catch you guys later tonight. All right. Peace.